Hello and welcome to your next tutorial in C Sharp and today we're going to be discussing inheritance. Now what is inheritance? Well basically it's if you have one class or another, one object and another class that uh, have very similar or common traits basically. Like maybe uh, one will deal with like height and weight or something like what we did with BMI and something else uses height and weight. Well maybe they could both share those. Maybe one could be like a, a child of another class and they can inherit the parents classes uh, variables and maybe some of their functions so let's figure out how you go about doing that so here we're going to be using length width and the show button so let's double click our show and well let's create a class so whoops not there so add and class so I'm gonna call this first class rectangle whoops rectangle And now, pretty much, I'm gonna speed run through this. So, so what member variables will we need? We're gonna need int uh, new length, and we're gonna need int new width. There we go. And let's create some stuff here. So, C T O R. So we're gonna have new length equal to zero, new width equal to zero. So that's our, whoops, I didn't put, uh, so this is cool, you get to watch me create another class right in front of you, but faster this time, so, um, CTO, there we go, so we have int width, int length, oh no, you know what, I should be putting length first, so we'll have, New length equal to length. Darn it. And new width equal to width. There we go. And I believe that's our, our overload. Now let's throw an accessor. So what's the first one going to be? It's going to be private int uh, get length. And all it's going to do is return length. There we go. And what's the problem here? So private int get length return. Oh, whoops, new length. And private int get width. And you're going to have to return new width there we go and now we're gonna need some mutator functions and let's see here so it's gonna be private void set length and we'll be passing in a length from somewhere and it's gonna be new length equal to length Uh, set width and we're going to have new width equal to whatever we pass in. Okay, so there you go. That's a whole class for you in like a minute and a half or so, I think. So we're going to need one more function. We have our default overload accessors, mutators. So we're going to need one more, and that's the actual calculation, shall we? So we'll have our calculation. And that's going to be, what's that going to be? Private uh, int. Because since the length and the width are both ints, we know this will be an int. So calculate area. And all we have to do is return. Uh, we have to return, what is it? New length times new width. Oh, yeah, there is. So there's our calculation. Now let's actually create one more class. Now that we have our rectangle, let's actually go out of our way to make one for a square, shall we? So we're going to have to do all of that again, aren't we? So new class. This time we'll call it square. Add it. And now we have a whole new class up here, square.c sharp. So you ready to do all what we did just, just before? All right. So member, nah, nah. Whoops. No, we're not going to be doing that. 
uh, we actually had some similarities between the square class and the rectangle class. Now, don't we? Uh, if you if you know geometry, you'll know that a square is a rectangle. The only difference is that a square, all the sides are equal and all the angles are 90 degrees. Uh, but theoretically, a square is still a type of rectangle. So if we look at this, we know that we only need one side for, uh, for to calculate the area of a square. So, oh, I didn't actually make these private. That's uh, bad to me. So, if we only need the length, per se, but we don't need the width, because we only need one piece of information, uh, we could actually just use this variable inside of our square class, couldn't we? Or in order to inherit anything from our rectangle class, uh, what we're going to have to do is in front of the name of the class that is going to be the child, I guess, put a space after its name, followed by a colon, then the name of that class. If you're inside that same uh, file, you can just type out, you know, rectangle or whatever. But if you're in another file, you need to type out the solution name first, which is example, there it is, dot, and then, you know, we have our form one class and then our rectangle class. So we want to inherit from our rectangle class. So it's the solution name dot that class if you're in a different file. And there you go. Now, just because we did this right here, We've inherited everything that's public over here. Wait a minute. But nothing's public. Oh, except for the constructors. But other than that, that's pretty worthless. Well, not really. Um, we can actually change th things, some things up. We only have two classes, and we need a length. So if we made this public right here, we would then see... I mean, this is where encapsulation gets defeated when you do this, but it depends how you do this. If you organize it properly, then you won't have to worry about encapsulation. But making this new length public, we will now only see this new length out over here now, So, because we now inherited it. So that's really, really good. But also note that you can also see new length elsewhere in the program as well. So this can be dangerous. What else will we need? We can also set our accessor for the length to public. We can set our mutator for length to public. And can we set calculate uh, area to public? Well, we can't because this one uses both new length and new width. And we won't be using new width inside of our square because we only need one. So we're going to have to create our own calculation function inside of our square class. So now knowing that, let's go over here and actually make that one now. So it's private calculate area and I should actually give it a data type that's my mistake so int and there we go so are we gonna have to pass any parameters in here actually we don't have to pass any parameters in here all we can do is directly return the area using the new length now that we've inherited the new length and it's public in the in the rectangle class we can just type out new length there it is times new length. So that's new length squared, and that'll give us the area of a square. So that's all it does, is it returns this squared. So now if we go back to our form 1 C-sharp, uh, we can take in the information. So let's just take in the length, because we're not going to be using the width weight. Oh my goodness, why does it still say weight? That's from my other tutorial, it should say width. There we go. Let me make sure that says text width. Okay, it does. I guess it doesn't matter. We're only going to use the length, so let's go back into our code. And let's go int length is equal to convert, whoops, dot to int 32 and throw in text length dot text. There we go. And now let's create a square. So let's call it square and let's call it my square and set that equal to a new square. Now, since we've done this, it's going to automatically use the constructor from the rectangle class. So we'll automatically set, uh, let's see here, uh, the new length member variable to zero. So we don't have to worry about that. Now let's actually change some things up. Let's use our, uh, what was it called, mutator function. So let's type out my square dot and then when we type out my square notice that it's from the square class
But not only can we see the new length here, the variable, as I've already pointed out in the class itself, but see, we can see the set length, the get length, and that's it. Because those are the only things that I made public inside the rectangle class. So now we can set the length. And we need to pass in an integer as a parameter. Well, look at this. We have an integer right here, length. So let's pass in the length, whatever we put in the text box. So there we go. We now use that mutator. Then let's throw our message box to pop something up. So let's type in the area of a square with length plus and then type out my square dot get length so now we're going to retrieve it using the accessor function that we inherited from the rectangle class and is and let's go down to the next line so plus and what what was it so my square dot and I think I made a boo boo here sorry about that uh, our calculate area here needs to be public otherwise we won't see it from our form one class there we go so now we're gonna see it okay so dot and there it is at the top calculate area and there we go and I could throw out like output and that's all that's all put so I'll run this application and let's throw in a length for a square so I throw in five for an example I click show and now it says the area of a square with length five so now we know the get the accessor worked and is twenty five and we already knew this would work because this calculate area is from the square class not the rectangle class so that's really really cool isn't it so um, that's pretty much inheritance for you so uh, a good example, I think. So I hope this tutorial was helpful for you, and I'll see you next time.